Hi guys and welcome back to my channel Living in Canada. I and my family recently went on a trip to Montreal and we took Via Rail from Toronto Union Station to Montreal. And in this video today, I want to share with you all about how the trip went, boarding, amenities on board, what food you can get on board, cost of the ticket, where you can book your ticket, how long the trip went. And I will also share with you some very useful tips that will make your trip as enjoyable as possible. So let's start. This is Union Station, very beautiful and located in downtown Toronto. It's pretty easy to get there using public transportation and subway line 1 will get you straight there. But since our departure time was 6.30 a.m. in the morning and we didn't want to risk getting there late, we opted for an Uber. The first thing that you want to do once you arrive at the station is to check this departure table to see if there are any changes to your schedule and most importantly to see what gate your train departs from. In our case, for example, the train was train number 60 to Montreal and it departed from gate 17. And here is the entrance to the trains and here is the departure hall. And it's pretty easy to find your gate because the departure hall is pretty small and all the gates are located very close to one another. It's not like at the airport where it can take you forever to find your gate and get to it. And here's our gate, gate 17 for train 60 to Montreal. We arrived about half an hour before the departure time and the boarding process was pretty smooth. Imagine it like boarding an airplane. The queues are divided into the regular boarding and priority boarding. I guess that's for business class. While waiting for boarding, the attendant checked our boarding passes, proof of vaccination, and for any excess baggage. Yes, there is a limit to what you can bring on board, but I'll talk about that a bit later. Finally, time to board. Look for the right car according to your boarding pass. Usually, the staff will call out the car number and point you into the right direction. In our case, it was car 3. Nope, not this one. We had to walk a bit further. And this is the one. And here are our seats. We were very happy with the seat selection. We reserved seats for C, for D, and one seat next to it. There were three of us, and all of these seats are located at the edge of the car where it's rather quiet compared to the midsection of the car. So if you want some quiet time during your trip, then I would really recommend these seats. And another advantage is that it's also very close to the luggage storage. If you have larger items, you would store them here. So it's a great way to always have your luggage in sight. The seats were pretty comfortable and we were able to catch up on a few hours of sleep that we really needed that morning. The seats are adjustable and you can't really see it here but beneath this lever is the charging outlet which you can use to charge your iPhone, iPad or whatever. Each row of seats has its own overhead luggage compartment with plenty of space. You can also close the curtains, but we left them open because we wanted to enjoy the beautiful view, which I'll show you in a bit. The table in our group seat was really awesome. You could unfold the table and that gave us a really large table space. And at the side here, you can see there's even a cup holder to uh, put your drinks in place so it won't spill. If you were to sit in a row that only had two seats, then the table would be a regular table that unfolds like on an airplane. Some very detailed safety instructions that were also explained to us by the attendant. And at the time of making of this video, masks were still required on public transportation and we needed to keep on our mask at all times, except when we were eating or drinking. And also very important, the menu, the in-flight, I mean in-train menu, which I'll get to in a second, but let's first look at the ticket and how you can buy your ticket. You can very easily buy your train ticket on VRL.com and also watch out for Discount Tuesdays because every Tuesday VRL has some special offers that might be able to save you a few bucks. Our tickets were $68 each plus HSD but that was rather on the lower end. You can expect to pay anything between $60-ish to over $100 depending on when you book your ticket and what your time of departure is. So I would 
strongly recommend you to book your tickets far in advance. After you bought your ticket, you will get an email with a receipt that confirms your purchase. But you do not need to print that out, luckily. It's sufficient to just download the boarding pass and save the digital version of the boarding pass on your smartphone. And I would recommend you to save that boarding pass in your favorites so it's easy and fast to pull it up whenever you need it. Because usually the staff will check your boarding pass twice, once at the time of boarding and once again on the train. A note on the baggage allowance, you can find the details in the ticket that will be sent to you via emails. So here for economy class, you're allowed one personal item which weighs maximum 11.5 kilograms or 25 pounds and has these dimensions and one large item or two small items with these details. By the way guys, if you found this video useful so far, then I would really appreciate it if you would hit the like button and also leave your comments down below. And if you don't want to miss out on any future videos that I upload on this channel, then also make sure to hit the subscribe button and also make sure that you set the notification bell to all notifications so that YouTube will inform you of each and every upload that I make. Now, let's get to the menu. Here's the thing, while in business class, food and drinks are included in the ticket price, in economy class, you have to pay for food and drinks if you want anything. But surprisingly, the prices are quite reasonable. You can get a brownie or banana bread for $3, you can get a hot coffee or tea for $2.50, beer is a bit more pricey, then you can get light meals like a bagel and some hummus for $4, a ham croissant for $8 and I have a story about that later and even a cheese platter for $11 and then you have your menu in French again on the right hand side so overall I think that the pricing is quite reasonable especially considering that this is sold on the train I'll show you in a bit what we ordered but it's 6 30 now and we're about to depart and we're leaving Toronto Union Station so you might be wondering how fast VR rail can actually go and I read that VR trains can travel up to 160 kilometers an hour while there are certain trains that can operate up to 200 kilometers per hour but definitely not this train that we took. Our departure time was 6.30 and we were scheduled to arrive at 11.50 so approximately 5 hours plus at a distance of approximately 500 kilometers from Toronto to Montreal which would bring us to an average speed of 100 kilometers per hour. But well, the train stopped pretty frequently for extended time so I can imagine that at its peak it would operate at 160 kilometers per hour. But I also need to mention that this train ended up arriving pretty late, almost one hour. And later on I found out that VRL trains are very often extremely delayed and one of the reasons is because VRL uh, does not own the tracks that it operates on so that when there are freight trains passing by they get priority and VRL has to wait. Luckily, VRL gives compensation for extremely delayed train trips, but I'll get to that later. And about one hour after departure, food service came and we each got ourselves a hot coffee, which was surprisingly not too shabby. It was really quite good and we got some cream and hand sanitizing wipes, but this locker here we brought on board along with some other snacks. Okay, and then my brother also ordered a ham croissant. We got our coffees but not the croissant, we thought that the staff would quickly heat up the croissant but no he disappeared for almost 2 hours but luckily then he came back and I must say that he handled the situation very well. So he checked our receipt and it was an honest mistake and then I was about to order another tea but as compensation for the mistake he gave us the teas for free so that was awesome. And the croissant was, well, what do you think just by looking at it? We didn't order anything else, but I just hope that the other food is much better than this. And here we are halfway throughout our journey at the city of Kingston. I will show you the washroom on board in a second, something very important, but first of all, let's look at this landscape. The landscape is really, really beautiful and I think that this makes the trip really worthwhile. Although VR Rail is not perfect, not at all, but I do think that it's still a great idea to have experienced taking the VR Rail to Montreal at least once. 
so this is the washroom on the train uh, nothing special nothing to rave about but it's pretty decent it's pretty clean and well maintained i'm not sure if that's because we took the first train in the morning and not many people had used it yet so we're almost there now and also almost an hour late but never mind we're so excited and we've really really enjoyed the trip and so looking forward to our stay in Montreal. We stayed for three nights and four days in Montreal at an Airbnb and from there we didn't return directly to Toronto but instead we made a short stop at Kingston where we stayed for one night and then returned to Toronto. And about the compensation for train delays, Via Rail does give compensations in specific cases, usually when the train is over an hour late, but only to certain destinations. They will give a 50% discount for the next ticket that you purchase for your next trip using Via Rail. But as I said, it's only eligible for certain trips, and usually they would announce it at the end of your trip if you are eligible for it. Here, we finally arrived in Montreal at the Central Station, and we were so excited and the three nights and four days that we spent here were really awesome we had such a good time there will be more videos coming up about my trip to montreal i will share with you the breweries restaurants places we went to biking in montreal and so on and also kingston so if you don't want to miss out on that make sure that you are subscribed to this channel and very important set your notification bell to all notifications so that youtube will update you each and every time there's a new upload from me thanks so much for watching guys have an awesome day and i'll see you again next time